everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing L'Oreal's newest Color Reach, Color Reach Quads, the Pocket Palettes. Now these are amazing, my goodness. I am so excited, like if you did not tell me these were L'Oreal, if you told me these were Urban Decay, by the way, by the way L'Oreal owns Urban Decay, but if you didn't know that and you told me these were Urban Decay, I would believe you because these are that good. Now I've swatched them all up for you guys and here are some live swatches. So as you see, there's a nice range from very everyday wearable work shades to uh, fun bright shades like those purples, my god. So I have quite a few favorites from this collection, um, but before I tell you what I loved, let me give you some notes about formula. First of all, these can be applied wet or dry. If you're dealing with the shimmery shades or even the more metallic looking shades, and there's quite a few in this collection, as a dench brush, pat them on. Um, you, can always you can always blend them out with a fluffier brush and to kind of dissipate them, maybe not, not make them so pigmented and so strong, you can diffuse them. If you want that full opaque look, like if you want that glitter you see in the pan, if you want that, you're going to need to put it on like you're applying a glitter. You need a base, you need a tacky base, a nice eye primer, even a glitter adhesive. This will last all day. That being said, if you're using a fluffier brush with those specific shades, the ones with the metallic sheen or the ones with the shimmer in it, you are going to have fallout. You're gonna see it all underneath your eye. Also, a lot of these shades are very soft. I'm not saying they're chalky, because they're not chalky, but a lot of them are very soft, so use a light hand. If you're using your finger to apply the shimmery shades, 
which I kind of recommend. So if you've already applied it on your eye and you just want to add even more intense like metallic sheen, put your fingers swirl a little bit and then just pat it on just like that. And then you can always blend it. You can always diffuse the ends with a, um, with a fluffy brush. What I'm saying to you is that unless you want a softer look, you're using it wet or moist or whatever. Moisten the brush. Don't moisten the palette. Moisten the brush. And you're not soaking your brush. A fine mist. Get yourself a little spray bottle, water, just like that, easy. Or you can use a makeup setting spray. I love doing that trick. L'Oreal has a good makeup setting spray and they have the small version now. So if you don't want to spend like $14 or $10 plus dollars for a makeup setting spray, you can pick up L'Oreal's or you can even pick up Max Fix Plus. They have the travel size for $10, so you can do that as well. That will keep your product on all day. Now, like I said, these are soft. So you do not want to put, if you're using a dense brush, you don't want to push too hard. You want to swirl over, graze over. This will help the product to not break or mush or be too much. Again, if, you use an, uh, if you're pushing too hard, you're going to get fallout. With the matte shades, you can go either way. Use a fluffier brush or a softer shade or use a more dense brush for a more pigmented shade. Um, you could of course do this and then just sheer it out if you want to do like a cut crease, that's fine. Um, these shades are great in that they contain everything you need for a full eye look, that's why they're called a pocket palette. Um, the darkest shade is the liner, there's a little um, display on the back of each one and they say that the darkest shade is your liner. So I would say wet your liner brush and then put it in and do your liner. Or you can use a liner brush and then just have like a fluffy, soft, diffused liner. I always like everything crisp, so I would wet my liner. But for you, if you like it a little bit softer, you want to get this kind of look, smoky eye, very blurred and blended, you can use a liner brush or you can use a um, the tip of a flat brush and just pat as you go along and then do a little cat eye if you want and then blend up. But um, it says the first thing you should do is your all over eye shade. I love all over eye shades. I use a fluffy brush to apply that all over my eye. And then it shades, says to take shade number two and put that on the sides and then shade number three right in the middle. So that shade number three, this shade here, that's the one that you might want to consider doing the, the finger test, the, the finger trick. Now I'm going to be filming a tutorial on either all of these or most of them because I loved them that much. I want to show you guys. Now. Each one of these only has that one look. So if you're interested in seeing some other looks or how I would apply them, check out my tutorials. They're coming. I'm probably going to do like this eye one palette, this eye another palette. So I'm, I obviously won't have time to do a full face of each and every single one of them. But I'll just show you different looks that I think would look nice when using these palettes. So I'll try to film as many as I can and as I get them up there'll be some links below. So guys did you pick up the new pocket palettes from L'Oreal? If you did which ones are your favorite? If you didn't which ones would you be interested in picking up if you're even interested in picking them up? If you're not interested in them tell me why. As always guys thank you so much for watching and please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.